shows you the diversity of Wasapanoitana's creation. And that the various terrain that sometimes the environment can be harsh as a creation can be harsh. As we can be harsh with one another. That not only can the terrain at times be harsh and inhospitable, but as human beings we can also be unhospitable, harming one another. When the Prophet ﷺ gave us the best of examples and let us know that that is not how the believer should be with one another. The believer should be kind to all of Allah Subhanahu Wa creation in a manner that pleases Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, calling the people to the worship of Him and Him alone, providing the people with with hikmah, with wisdom, and good preaching. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Ma min shayin athkulu fi meizan al mu'min yawm al qiyamah min husn al khulq wa inna Allah yubghidu al fahish al bidi that there isn't a thing that is heavier on the scale of a believer than good manners. And very Allah, Allah hates hates sinful and wicked speech. So that's a lesson for the believer. To be kind and gentle towards one another. To the fears of Allah's and just creation all the people to read with gentle preaching and kind Kindness, kindness towards one another. It's especially important also for Ahl Sunnah to be kind and gentle towards one another, not harsh, not cursing one another, not hating one another as we sometimes see between our brothers and sisters, Wa'iyyad and Da, in the same menhaj, calling the Kitab in Lawa Sunnah, the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Sometimes a mistake, people fall into error, they fall into mistakes. But is it that when they fall into a mistake regarding the Sunnah of the Prophet, وسلم, they just left the Sunnah of the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, is that the fair? Or should we be gentle and kind with one another? So we have to ask ourselves this and change the way we behave with one another.